Hey, I'm Jeremy Kelleher. Today we're looking over the property files for 24 Percy Street. Now its location is just outside the four avenues of Christchurch City and it's in a suburb of Phillipstown. The dwelling sits on a fee simple title with a land area of 101 square metres. The dedicated car park is located beside the dwelling and is on another fee simple title which is a 1 15th share of 524 square metres. The house itself is 45 square metres featuring a single level non-attached design with an additional 56 square metres of outdoor area. The capital value is 470,000 under the Christchurch City Council. The property is currently vacant and priced at 439,000, including GST. We've researched the market and um, have some comparable sales for you to review. This first one on Worcester Street, being one bedroom, is 50 square metres and it's over two levels and it doesn't have a car park. That sold for 410,000. Our next comparable property on Hume Street, being one bedroom, 71 square metres, over two levels and no car park, sold for $477,000. This one on Barbados Street, also a one bedroom, 50 square metres, over two levels, has no car park, sold for $430,000. Our last one on Cleveland Street, being one bedroom, 52 square metres and over two levels, this one also has no car park and that sold for $480,000. Now Percy Street is zoned in the Residential Medium Density Zone, or RMD. That allows for option of townhouses, terrace housing and apartment buildings to be built on the site. It was built new in October 2021 and this was built to modern New Zealand building guidelines. The land zone is technical category 2 and this is classified as green. The property is insured with the NZI residential building multi-dwelling policy. Essentially we do this to get a bulk discount. And that's managed by a resident association along with other common items such as shared area maintenance uh, and for this particular development there are 15 properties in total. The levy for this one is in 2023 was $1,771 and that's also including GST. Even though it's in a medium density zone, the council limits short term accommodation like Airbnb to 60 days yen. For the remaining days, longer term tenants, for example, three, six months can always be an option. As part of the insurance policy, you'll just need to notify the residence association manager that you're doing that activity. Now, there's no issues with hazardous substances on the property according to ECAN's listed land use register. Being built in 2021, most building and manufacturing warranties still apply, although some, like appliances, may be out of their warranty. The vendors haven't engaged in a pre-building inspection report, but you can easily engage a professional inspection as part of your offer, conditions, or even before making an offer. The current annual rates for this property are 2588 This is also including GST, and the bin collection happens to be on Mondays. Because it's such a recent development, there was no limb report or council files purchased. Most solicitors recommend purchasing at your own limb in your own name, which they can do. And they can, that can be ordered for $290 with a wait time of 10 working days. Or you can fast track one it's to five working days and that's just only an additional $100. Now you can request our draft sale agreement or you can submit our simple offer form. Now to choose your own terms for a personalised draft agreement, which then can be sent to your solicitor for comments and then uploaded for digital signing so the whole process is easy. We've collected property files and a Kelleher property pack. This will be sent to you automatically when you inquire on any major property portal website such as these listed. We take pride in researching our properties for sale, however it's essential to receive independent professional and technical advice when purchasing. I always like to say focus on these four letters that you'll want to receive. First one being a building inspection report. Understand the building and a building inspection report is a great way to do that. Secondly, have your solicitor review all property and technical title information such as limb and title and then just give you general advice. Click also from an insurance broker or directly to your preferred insurance company and request a confirmation letter that you have insurance. And lastly, seek a letter from a, a letter of offer from your bank or other financial institution to fulfill their conditions. This may be like subject to insurance. If you haven't viewed the property yet or you'd like another viewing, just reach out to schedule a time with us or request to view my calendar. Alternatively, check our schedule open homes and we look forward to helping you with your research when you're purchasing your new home.